Welcome to the Frontiers of Inclusive Innovation. Innovation can increase the efficiency, effectiveness, and impact of efforts to meet the ambitions of the 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development. Inclusive innovation policies are designed differently from traditional ones. They are designed not only for economic imperatives, but with social, development, and environmental objectives in mind. In this policy discussion, we are going to explore good practices in promoting inclusive innovations in different areas of technology and innovation policies. We will hear directly from those that are promoting inclusive innovation, how they are doing so, and what are some of the challenges that they face. I think one of the defining features of the pandemic, because we all know, has been kind of the accelerated digital transformation that's happened all around us. Look at it from any perspective, education, healthcare, finance, uh, access to services. If you're not digital, you're just out. We believe that the spirit of digital transformation has to be inclusive and empowering. An inclusive digital environment happens neither automatically nor easily. We've been working now with um, governments and local implementing partners uh, to pioneer these digi what we've called digital economy kits. And it's designed uh, to support governments exactly this, who are trying to think about whole of economy uh, digitalization, digital transformation, but with a focus on inclusion. Explicitly seeking the views of marginalized groups and other groups is really important in this process if you want it to work. Every good science and innovation policy should be inclusive because you uh, take with you the growth of uh, areas that are not as prosperous and you um, get access to a lot more talent than if you are not inclusive. Inclusivity is really in the minds of the people that are developing uh, uh, the policies and uh, they should be reaching out uh, to other policy areas where they see that there are thresholds that need to be overcome actually for the policy, uh, for the STI policy to be, uh, to be effective. We are shifting from, you know, from the, that perspective where we only think about economic gains, but also bring social benefits as well as environmental benefits to our communities. To ensure that the DOS's initiatives are inclusive, it consults the local government units the communities, industry, the academe, and experts from the ideation phase to project evaluation and implementation. Excellencies, we believe that science, technology, and innovation should not be intimidating. Instead, it should be a welcoming tool to lift communities out of poverty and empower the society in economic, environmental, and social facets of life conditions which exist in marginal regions in high risk environments are such that these people are not able to meet the criteria for inclusion so that's the reason why we wanted to look at that the, the possibility that people are not poor in mind they may be poor economically but they're not poor in mind so why not we look at the solutions that people produce themselves we have to also recognize that while microfinance is good for products and services for which market exists Macro venture finance, macro venture innovation fund is required for product and services for which market does not yet exist. All of us who have been working with innovations, we know that only a fraction of the innovations that we find are commercializable. But that doesn't mean that the other maybe 95% or 97% of them are uh, useless. Inclusive business are commercially viable business line of private sector company that could add scale up systemics and innovative solution for the relevant incomes and living standard problem of the poor and low income people at the base of the social economic pyramid. I think we need to remind ourselves what the question is with the policy question that we're, that it, that, that we're asking. Um, and that for me is, you know, what is it that governments can do to create an environment which encourages businesses to do more to address the SDGs or to address social and environmental problems? It's really encouraging to see we're seeing a, a broad range of different types of government from different regions actually really focusing on these agendas, which from our perspective is very welcome. This forum has discussed at length the whole day uh, the importance of expanding the so-called frontiers of inclusive uh, innovation, which means that we need to move away 
from the more traditional innovation policies and shift gear towards the next generation or frontier inclusive innovation policies. The pandemic has provided the opportunity for a reset and to innovate innovation policy itself to direct innovation towards inclusive and sustainable development. It really is a great pleasure for ESCAP to join forces with all of you to ensure we truly expand the frontiers of inclusive innovation.